Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. Prepare the attendance list. Okay, here it is. Okay, Ada Veronica Muñoz. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. 
Present teacher. Andrea Isabel Siu. Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me, present. Okay. Brian Josué Marroquín. Cecilio Antonio Cortés. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gómez. Present, good evening teacher. Diana Patricia Orantes. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Jennifer Nouset Arevalo. Juan Antonio Brand. Present teacher. Catherine okay. Maria Luz Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present teacher. I am here. Okay. Marisa Abigail Fuentes. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Present teacher. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Eh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present teacher. Norma Lisset Crespín. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Oscar Alexander Rodríguez. Reina Isabel Romero. Hello. Okay. Silvia Esther Rivera. Ok. Sorry, teacher, me mencionó. No le escuché. Yes. Jennifer, no sé. Okay. Okay. okay, let's see. We're going to start section three. Time for change. That is the title of this unit. Okay. We have. Uh, sorry, teacher. I, I don't hear you. Good. You don't hear me. You hear me now? I don't. I don't listen. Okay. What about the rest? Can you hear me? Oh yes. Thanks, teacher. Okay, let's start with this vocabulary. To uh, it's about adjectives to describe houses and apartments. Adjectives to describe houses and apartments. Okay. We have different adjectives here. Some are positive. Some are negative. Yeah. Some of these adjectives are positive. Other adjectives are negative. Okay. That is some this some adjectives describe good qualities of a house or an apartment. Other adjectives describe bad qualities of a house or an apartment. So, the idea is to write P for positive.
positive or N or negative next to each adjective, okay? Example, bright. Bright is a positive adjective, okay? So I will give you a few minutes to work on the other adjectives, okay? To identify if they, if they are positive or negative. Okay, work on that. Mister, what is the meaning trumpet? You remember the online dictionary I recommended you? Okay, I will send you to working groups for five minutes to compare your work with this activity, okay? Try to join the groups, please, if, if you can, just to compare uh, your work, classifying these adjectives in positive or negative adjectives. Okay, go to the breakout room, please.
Okay, let's check together. So let me see. I'm going to Let's see if I can write. So comfortable is positive or negative? Positive. Positive, right? Uh, convenient. Convenient. Positive. 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 Okay. Cramped. Cramped. Negative. 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 Dangerous. Negative. 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 Dark. Negative. 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 Dingy. Negative. 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 Expensive, negative. negative, huge, positive, positive. Okay. Yeah, positive. In inconvenient, negative. negative, modern, positive, positive. noisy, negative. negative, private, positive, positive. quiet. Positive. 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 Safe. Positive. Positive. Shavy. Negative. Negative. Small. Negative. Negative. Spacious. Positive. Positive. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um. Now, let's... How would you describe your house or apartment? Look at this example. My apartment is very dark and a little cramped. However, it's in a safe neighborhood and it's very private. Okay. So here there are some positive and negative aspects. So I will give you a couple of minutes to write a sentence like this, describing your how, using some of these adjectives. Okay, write a short paragraph like this, describing your how.
This is a description of my house. Oh, it's too light. Okay, please write the uh, write the description of your house in the chat, please. Okay.
Okay, let's see. Luis, can you read the description of your house, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, it's in the chat. Uh, my house is small, it is, but it's locally in a safe zone from the city. It's very convenient for going to the market while it's near. Okay, very good. Uh, just let me write some okay there and don't use why in this case. In this case, it's better to use because. Why is for question. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Because, because it's for reason. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay. Reina. Reina. Yes, yes. Read yours, please. Sorry? Read yours. Okay. Um, I said uh, my house is spacious, private, safe, but also kind of sharing. Okay. Catherine? My house is crepped by, but my cute. I love my house. Okay. Quiet. The pronunciation is quiet. All right. Quiet. Yeah, very good. My house is crepped, but quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brenda. Sorry, but, but I my house is very noisy. <laughs> my house is is spacious and very comfortable, but my neighbors is very nice. Okay. Okay, Sylvia. Okay, my house is spacious and com comfort comfortable. Sorry, I don't remember the pronunciation. And com comfortable, my neighborhood is quiet because it's private. However, it's not dangerous. Okay. Claudia? My house is small, however, it's bright and private. Okay, Miguel? My house is very free, is small, private, and comfortable, but located in a soft zone from the city in Soyapango. Okay. Juan Antonio? My house is very small, a bit dilapidated, dilapidated. And it's fast, but it's safe and comfortable at the same time. Okay. Marys? Hi. My house is big. I have convenient space. Is private and uh, yeah, I couldn't hear you at the end. No, we couldn't hear you. Okay, um, uh, Olivia. <sighs> My house is big. my house is big. It's comfortable and spacious. Okay, Jennifer. Hi, 
My house is the last one in the five two. It is not very big, but it is very comfortable. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, those are all I have in the chat. Uh, let's practice the pronunciation of these adjectives. I saw some problems with some of them. Okay, I will read them first. And I, I'm going to record the pronunciation here in WhatsApp. Later, we are going to practice together, okay? Okay. Adjectives. To describe houses or apartments. Bright. Comfortable. Comfortable. Convenient. Cramped. Cramped. Dangerous. Dark. Dingy. Expensive. Huge. Inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, private, quiet, quiet, safe, shabby, small, spacious. Very good. Let's practice together, please. Um, just let me. Okay, repeat after me, please. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, let's practice. Give me a second, I'm trying to. Oh. Okay, bright. Bright, bright, bright. 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 Comfortable. 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 Convenient. 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 Cramped. 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 Dangerous. 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 Dark. 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 Dingy. 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 Expensive. 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 Huge. 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 Inconvenient. 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 Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Shabby. 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 Small. 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 Spacious. 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 Okay. 
Be careful with this because with this we practically omit one syllable. Right? Comf comfortable. 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 Yes. Comfortable. Comfortable. Although in American English, well, comfortable and also the Americans say comfortable. 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 So, comfortable. Comfortable. And comfortable. Then in British comfortable. English, comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. Very good. Well, let's continue. We are going to watch a video we have here uh, about the the uh, we're going to see in the conversation some adjectives, evaluations and comparison with adjectives and nouns. So before reading the conversation, let me show you the video with this topic, okay? Give me a second to prepare the video here. Okay, here it is. Okay. Watch the video. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, 
dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following. That we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big. Well, the opposite of big, we can we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough, 
and then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. Okay, uh, so the noun is parking spaces, and then you can think of a complement if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement, but in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are, um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses? Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space. Right? We can think of things like privacy, and of course we can think of things like money, if you will. Right. So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this, I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. Right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here. And of course, following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then, of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Okay. Apartments and houses. Well, a week two. So in this case, what I'm going to cost too much money. So if we can include too much money, apartment depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate. Okay, so. Let's take a look to the conversation and later we're going to come back to this formula to describe our houses. Okay, let me go back to the conversation, to the manual here. And let's see how they use, how they used that, those uh, structures. Apartment hunting, that is the conversation topic. What do you think? Well, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. And the living room is huge. But the bedrooms are too small. And there isn't enough closet space for my clothes. And it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. But that apartment was dark and dingy. And it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see if the real estate agent has something else to show us. Okay. Just let me mark the... the descriptions they use. Uh, 
Okay. It says um, the living room is huge. The living room is huge, for example. Or another one, let me see this. It has It has just as many bedrooms. Hey, what happened? No, it's not working. It has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Another one here. The bedrooms are too small. There isn't enough closet space for my clothes. It is not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. That apartment was dark and dingy. It was in a dangerous neighborhood. Okay, so you see there are different sentences uh, describing those apartments, okay? Well, uh, we don't have more time to practice. Uh, just let me read it one more time and I'm going to record the conversation here and we are going to finish with that. We will continue on Monday. What do you think? Well, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. And the living room is huge. But the bedrooms are too small. And there isn't enough closet space for my clothes. And it's not as cheap as the last apartment we saw. But that apartment was dark and dingy. And it was in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see if the real estate agent has something else to show us. Okay, people. I I uh, leave you with the audio in, in WhatsApp. We are going to continue on Monday. Uh, remember to complete the platform activities, okay, and enjoy your weekend. That will be all for today, okay? Thank you. See you Have on Monday, night. people. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Happy weekend.